Well, this morning we continue to celebrate Pride Month here on AM Extra, and today we're introducing you to Miss Trans Oregon 2024. The Coos Bay native using her crown and platform for LGBTQ plus activism, especially for trans visibility. Miss Trans Oregon 2024, Billy McBride, joining us in studio to talk all about her platform and the new crown. Billy, good morning. Good morning. Thanks good for morning. being here. Thank you. And happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month to you. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about um, how you first kind of got your start before we get to the title as a Miss Trans Oregon 2024. Mm -hmm. You're from Coos Bay, I uh, am. born and raised, uh, or at least you were born here and then mm -hmm. moved to the south, right? So That's give correct. us a little bit of your backstory. Uh, well, the backstory is long, so you don't have <laughs> enough time for all of it. But I was born in Coos Bay, and at age 11, my family moved away. Mm. Um, my family is originally from Arkansas. They moved to Oregon in the 1940s after the war. Uh, my great aunt Dorothy called all of her sisters and said, come to Oregon, it's beautiful. Mm. Lots of jobs, opportunities, great weather. And one by one, they packed up all their families. And so that's why I was born here. Yeah. But I still have connections in Arkansas. And mm -hmm. I met my husband there. We've been married 39 years. Oh, that's wow, wonderful. congratulations. Yes. Thank yeah. you. And you went through your transition in the South. In Arkansas. In Arkansas in the 80s. Mm -hmm. uh, I would imagine that was probably a, a pretty difficult <coughs> period of time. It most certainly was. Uh, the opportunities that are available now were not available then. Yeah. And the opportunities that are available now are trying to be taken away mm -hmm. by conservatives and people that just simply don't understand that people like me need these services. So I stepped up and went down to the state capitol and fought the legislation, mm -hmm. the um, North Carolina bathroom bill, mm -hmm. the famous punitive bathroom bill. I sat and testified for 10 minutes. Wow. I thought they were going <laughs> to throw me out, mm -hmm. but they listened and it was put down. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, being in business for 38 of the 39 years my husband and I have been married, I used all of those connections to get the ear of the governor during a session, mm -hmm. which is virtually impossible. Mm -hmm. So I was in the room virtually from Oregon with Asa Hutchinson and his chief of staff when he vetoed the health care bill for wow. trans youth, which is now going to the Supreme Court. Yeah, so uh, obviously activism has, has long been something that is important to you. What made you want to uh, go the route of the beauty pageant and, and <laughs> you now have the, the, the crown of Miss Trans Oregon? Yes, well, uh, publicity yeah. is important when you're trying to get a message out. Absolutely. I'm a regular citizen. I'm a housewife and a business owner. Mm -hmm. I was sitting on my sofa four years ago in Arkansas when I heard a mother testify, begging, shaking the papers she was holding yeah. for the life of her child. I was sitting there knowing that I had a blemish-free backstory. I've never been arrested. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been married for 39 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I've transitioned 40 years. I'm not part of what is a perceived trend among youth. Sure. Uh, I'm a link to people that started in the early 60s. I was able to meet a few people that were the very pioneers of this. Mm -hmm. uh, my doctor, Dr. Harry Hayes, was advisor to presidents. But when he passed in Arkansas, there was no one to step forward. And I kept waiting for someone to do that. Yeah. And no one stepped up. So wow. I felt like I had to. It's interesting too, you mentioned you know, the per perceived trend among youth, yes. right? We've seen a lot of rhetoric around, uh, mm -hmm. I think a lot of changes that quite honestly, the public discourse has allowed so many more folks to yes. to come out and say, this is who I am. And, and, and we haven't had that environment mm -hmm. uh, at, at previous points in our nation's history. So mm -hmm. why is it so important to uh, continue to have this visibility and, and this message and, and what you're working so hard towards? Well, because the condition is so rare mm -hmm. and there aren't enough of us to affect change politically which is why we're such a good whipping post. Mm -hmm. But as far as why I'm here, I'm here for the kids because I was once a trans kid yeah. before trans kids were even identified. Mm. And I was trying to figure it out literally on my own. Mm -hmm. And I was watching television, a program much like this. Phil Donahue had Tula, who was a model and an actress, James Bond film actress bikini model, beautiful, gorgeous mm -hmm. woman. 
She inspired me, just the side of her, to let me know as a child it was possible. Yeah. Mm, that's incredible. And, and, oh, sorry, go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, and, and how, how lucky uh, we are to get to sit here and talk to you, right? You've, you've gotten to grow up and have yes. this platform, and, and that is something that we want more kids to be able to have. Well, and, I'm, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm the lifelong version yeah. of this. Yeah. You don't hear from people like me. Yeah. Uh, you're told to go into society and be private and uh, not tell your information. And I did what I was told. But in doing that, I created a life that I can use against conservatives that's blemish free and upstanding and moving forward. I'm not sitting on my laurels. I'm not taking, oh, I got mine mm -hmm. and now I'm happy. No, the kids have to be happy. Yeah. Well, and what you, we had this, it was a nice conversation we had a, off camera just before starting yes. this interview. And, and one thing I loved about just your, who you are and, and what you're doing with your platform is positivity. That was the first word mm -hmm. out of your mouth. It was like, yes. this, this needs to be about positivity. Why mm -hmm. is that so important? It's important because the general public uh, misunderstands people like me. Uh, I'm not a predator. I've actually been in service to children all of my life. Mm -hmm. I'm a figure skater, and I've been a member of the Diamond Edge Figure Skating Club for almost 40 years. Mm -hmm. So I've had generations of children under my care. Yeah. Uh, I've been in dressing rooms, bathrooms, right. backstage, various states of undress with parents and children all these years, right. and nothing happened because I'm a moral person. Right. And that's a message that needs to be heard. Absolutely. That you can be who I am and still be an upstanding member of society. Mm -hmm. well, we're so fortunate to have you sharing your story here today, Billy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank we could, you. We could yeah. talk to you all morning, but if folks want to uh, learn more and follow along your journey, I know you're going to be competing nationally later this year. Where can they follow you? Um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin mm -hmm. uh, in November. Uh, I'm Billy McBride, 86 online. Excellent. Uh, you can follow if you would like to find out more about TransUSA National Pageantry System. They are based on who you are. Yeah. No age, no weight, no beauty, no monetary requirements whatsoever. It is celebration of trans people and what they give back to society. It's so wonderful, Billy. Thank you for being here this Thank morning. You. Wonderful time. to have you here. And if you want to follow along Billy's journey as Miss Trans Oregon 2024, you can follow Billy McBride's public profile on Facebook, Billy McBride 86. And uh, best of luck in yeah. your competition you. later this fall. That's fantastic. All right, it's 817 right now.